Connecting SAP HANA to Power B, I can seem daunting, but we'll simplify it. I'll share the key prerequisites, discuss why it's useful, and walk you through the setup. It's a mix of tech magic and practical insights that will empower you to integrate these tools smoothly. Sit tight and let's make your workflow smarter. I'm Emma Grace, an IAM expert with 10 plus years of hands-on experience designing and deploying identity solutions that scale. I specialize in helping organizations implement secure, user-friendly access controls that reduce risk, meet compliance, and support growth without adding complexity. In this slide, we'll talk about SAP HANA and Power BI, a database and a visualization tool teaming up. You'll see how they complement each other beautifully. Integration lets you bring the best of both worlds to life. Trust me, it's a collaboration worth exploring. Why integrate SAP HANA with Power BI, you ask? Imagine getting real-time insights that simplify your decisions and reporting. It's like upgrading your car to a jet. It's faster, sleeker, and way more effective. Let's dive into these benefits together. Before jumping in, we need to lay the groundwork. Think of this as prepping ingredients before cooking. It's essential. We'll ensure you have all the tools and credentials ready to make the connection seamless. No skipping this step, folks. The SAP HANA ODBC driver is your golden ticket to connecting the dots. I'll guide you through the download and installation process. If hiccups appear, don't worry. We'll troubleshoot them like tech pros. Setting up SAP HANA is like customizing your car's engine. It needs precision. We'll explore database settings and test connectivity to ensure everything runs smoothly. Buckle up. It's going to be productive. Power BI Desktop Setup is where creativity meets preparation. We'll get you started in no time, making sure your workspace is ready for data magic. Let's roll. Import or direct query. It's like choosing between coffee and tea. Both great, but with unique perks. We'll weigh pros and cons of each mode, helping you pick the perfect fit for your data needs. All right, here comes the grand finale, the actual connection process. Step by step, we'll launch Power BI get the data and input credentials. By the end, you'll be ready to unveil the magic of integration. All right, folks, first things first, server details. Sounds simple, right? But one wrong input and boom, you're locked out. Double check those credentials like your life depends on it. And please, strong passwords. No password 123 nonsense. Last but not least, make sure you actually have permission before diving in because getting denied access is just embarrassing. Now, selecting data fields, this is where the magic begins. You wouldn't cook without knowing your ingredients, right? Same logic applies here. Be picky with your tables, filter wisely, and match data types like a pro. Oh, and optimization. It's like making sure your car isn't running on empty. Your queries should speed up, not slow you down. Ah, reports and visualizations the part where your data finally looks presentable. Pick charts that make sense. No pie charts for everything, please. Make things interactive so users stay engaged and keep your numbers accurate. No one likes misleading stats. And for heaven's sake, maintain formatting consistency. Let's not make Power BI look like a chaotic scrapbook. Calculation views, fancy right, but don't worry. It's just data gymnastics. Connect data sets like puzzle pieces, add calculated fields for extra insights, and optimize like a data scientist. And before calling it a day, double check your results, because nothing's worse than presenting wrong numbers with confidence. Performance optimization sounds serious, but think of it as decluttering your digital workspace. Keep queries simple, index like a pro, and avoid unnecessary calculations. And don't assume everything's running smoothly. Keep an eye on performance stats unless you enjoy troubleshooting later. Troubleshooting, everyone's least favorite part, but trust me, it's inevitable. Check if the server's actually online before panicking. Double check your data sources and don't forget those logs. They are basically the breadcrumbs leading to the issue. And sometimes, 
You just need to try a different approach. Because repeating the same thing and expecting miracles doesn't work. Best practices. Because messy integrations are nobody's friend. Keep things compatible. Protect your data from corruption. And follow standardized methods. No cutting corners. And once it's all done, don't just walk away. Monitor it like a hawk to ensure everything runs smoothly. And that's a wrap. We covered a lot. From setup to troubleshooting and best practices to making data shine. Now, take what you've learned and put it into action. Keep improving, refine your workflows, and always be on the lookout for better ways to optimize. And hey, don't forget to have fun with it. Please do like, share, and subscribe to our channel.